by from the manual control bunker, grab a bag of peanuts and a cold glass of prune juice. Pull up a stool and prepare yourself for de 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 Dextra's Daily do 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 Do's. A solid two hour long log of hot, steaming gameplay from my favorite employer, Man, 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 Dextra. Greetings, mercenaries, mech warriors, and the merely curious. Manus Dextra here with the long awaited continuation of my walkthrough for Battletech The Restoration. So, in the last campaign mission we did was the uh, liberation of Panzer which was about a third of the way through the campaign, if I remember correctly. And I have not played the game in some time, so I am very rusty. But uh, in this episode, we're going to try to shake off a bit of that rust as we prepare for the next campaign mission, which should be the liberation of Smithen. But uh, that's enough yakking for now, so uh, saddle up, buttercups. It's time to make the donuts. Yeah, guys, so uh, just a... Uh yeah, all right, so... All right. So proceed to Smithen, where you will assist the Restoration's army efforts to liberate House Corrosis. Early reports from our field observers suggest that a loadout featuring indirect fire, like I said, capabilities at, and at least a moderate level of mobility could prove advantageous on this drop. Further details will be provided upon your arrival. All right. So yeah, basically, I think we like this, uh, I think we like this loadout and we're going to go ahead and put white rose in here again. But yeah, I, if I'm honest, I I, I kind of like the uh, I like the campaign for the story. I think it's a pretty decent story. But yeah, some of some of the campaign missions, can be a bit gimmicky. I, I definitely I, I think I like career mode a lot better. So welcome to Smithen, Commander. The bulk of our army is entrenched in the capital, exchanging fire with what's left of the Directorate's forces. The battle is leaning in our favor, but we're running low on ammunition, and this is where you come in. Structure before you is a munition dump that the Directorate stole from House Corrosis. I need you to take it back, find all hostile units, and eliminate them. Our combat support staff will handle the rest. I've highlighted several optional objectives for this mission that all pay equally well. Saving, saving some of the am, ammunition that's already packaged for transport will earn you a bonus payment. Yeah, this is, yeah, we definitely want to use these to uh, kill the mechs on the field and, and thin them out. If we don't, we're going to have a lot of trouble with this mission. So if you manage to preserve the bulk of the ammunition, you will receive a second cumulative payment. Finally, I will pay you a bounty for any director of transport you manage to destroy during the engagement. Yeah, because the other thing we're going to want to do is 
because if I remember right, they're all going to be leaving from like the west side of the map, and we need to be set up over there so we can take those guys out as well. So this assignment comes with risks. The facility is heavily guarded. Don't I know it? And if any of those munition crates come under fire, the resulting explosions will deal heavy damage to anything caught in the blast. This includes directorate units, so feel free to target the crates yourself, but know that you will be sacrificing bonuses in doing so. Good hunting, right. Commander. Take out those battle mechs and mind the crates. Okay. Yeah, so like I was saying, I think what we really want to do here is we want to haul... I think I'm going to... Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and sprint the lance over to this side of the map. And, uh... And and try to keep our uh, try to keep our indirect fire guys in cover as much as possible. Move order received. Keep and bandit. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and uh, moving out. Yeah, we got plenty of firepower here as long as we can stay in cover. Start taking these guns off the map, I think we'll be okay, maybe. <clears throat> I could get this. to get the I'm showing minor damage man the uh, the AI is uh, has got it from Medusa man I don't know what it is about that they're uh, keying on him again yeah we need to we need to get these guys get these guys taken out as quick as we can. Yeah, well, that's, you know, I mean, one way or another, yeah, the uh, the AI definitely likes 
to uh, focus fire, which is a good strategy. I mean, it's it's easy. I guess it's easy to program, and it is a good strategy because it's it's you know the same thing I do most of the time is uh, focus on a particular mech like uh, the spider back here. We need to take out. I think that I was gonna. I was thinking about going ahead and uh, and splitting up fire between the uh, between the spider and the turret, but I don't think I want to do that. I really want to get rid of this. Hot damn! Good. Just what we wanted. So if we get this turret, if we get this turret out of the way, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how many of the enemy have any kind of line of sight on us at all. Once we get this uh, turret out of the way, we might. They might not be able to uh, shoot at us at all from back here. Yeah, that's that's what I was talking about. So the supply truck is running with a full load of ammo. Don't let it escape. Yeah, that is a good point about, uh, like you're saying, they can still, even if you're not in line of sight, they can still sensor lock you, but uh, looks like somebody's got line of sight because uh, just had a PPC shot. But yeah, I guess the difference between sensor lock and line of sight you know, having an enemy in line of sight is that a sensor lock is only going to target one of your mechs. And if you've got... But if you've got an enemy that's got line of sight on your lance, they can call an indirect fire on any of your mechs. But yes, they, you're right. They can still sensor lock you if they've got somebody that's capable of that. All right. So now... Let's see what we can got here. So we've got as soon as this guy gets within range of this, we're gonna take out an ammunition crate if we can. But right now, so that's the vehicle that's fleeing. So we're gonna yeah, go man. ahead. Oh, I see that little... Yeah, all right. So what we're going to do... Get in cover. I copy.
I've got a sensor lock. <clears throat> Alright, so now we can, uh... Minimal damage on that hit. Receiving you. Yikes. All right. Well, <laughs> yeah, I'm not even going to waste. Yeah, we'll just brace. I'm going to waste any shots on that one. Shit. Live and learn. I thought that would, uh... Yeah, my Battletech game is kind of struggling too. This is a uh, this is actually a pretty tough uh, <laughs> a uh, pretty tough campaign mission to start back on, and uh, I'm definitely showing uh, showing my rustiness here. All right. And I guess we don't have to worry too much about heat yet. supply truck is fully loaded and moving out. Destroy it before it gets away.
Yeah, we need to get... All right. Trying to stay in. All right, I think I'm going to do that. Affirmative. The other, the other bad thing about this. You know what? We gotta do it that way. Got a lock. The other thing that's kind of a pain in the ass about this mission is that it's kind of it's it's tying my scout up on, with a sensor lock all the time so I can so I can take these guys out which which uh You know, I hate to do it, but uh Yeah, we need to get a spotter up here. Is because having having these trucks flee and not having them in line of sight means that the only thing I've been able to use my scout for is sensor lock like two or three times in a row. That's a lot of firepower that I really need to be using out here. Cause man, we gotta get some uh, we gotta get some mechs off the board. We got a Alright, so first thing we need to do here That's the best shot we got right now, anyway. Mm -hmm.
Yep, I think we need to do that. So we're exposing him. We need to give him as much protection as possible. Got 45, 40. Damn. Well, that sucks. Now, why it won't let me hit that am ammo crate? Oh well. None of the rest of them are gonna do any good. Alright, cool. I guess we'll just go. We gotta get the crab up here. I don't know why we cannot, why it's not going to let us target that ammo crate, man. That really, ah, that sucks. All right, well. That's our only other, that's really our only other option for line of sight any, all right. Yep. 
So hopefully I can haul ass down here and, uh... Yeah, wait a minute. Yeah. Yeah, we don't want to do that. I'd like to get down there and, and set up in those trees, unfortunately... I'm afraid we get uh, flanked by the fire starter and the uh, and the locusts. So I think we're gonna haul ass down here and we're gonna try to hit that ammo crate and we should be able to take out should be able to take out that cicada if we do that. So that's what we're gonna try to do. As soon as I do that, now I've got other mechs coming into the blast area, but uh, so we're gonna have to take what we can get. Take out it. All right, let's see what we got now. It's like we could take out the Jenner. So the LRM-5 should be enough to uh, ignite that ammo crate. I hope it is anyway. I'm going to be very sad if it's not. And... I think the Panther's probably the next squishiest target there, so... Ah, shit. That sucks. I should have known that. I thought, because I thought any hit on those ammo crates would uh, ignite them, but obviously not. And 
And crabs in. Yeah, crabs having some heat problems. Hello, guys. Yeah, that's about all I can do, man. That, uh, fire starters really suck. I I'll tell you one, th one, diff one big difference between this game and MechWarrior 5, and it may just be because this is turn-based and, and you just cannot ignore your heat problems. Uh, but yeah, yeah, fire starters in, uh, in environments like we're in right now where you have a lot of heat issues anyway, yeah, they're they're pretty good and they're they could be some little little bastards because i was planning on trotting the uh the king crab out here and you know take care of some business at range and it looks like i'm not going to be able to do that until i get this fire starter taken out so yeah yeah the crab's got to turn into the hammer Yeah, too bad, uh, too bad we didn't get to see that kill shot. We definitely needed it, though. Damn, this this will be all right. Warning, armor breached. Internal damage. Oh wow, looks like uh, you know, looks like RNG saving me from blowing up that crate before might have come in handy because it looks like I could probably take out three mechs and holy crap do we need to we really need a break right now so uh Orders. yeah let's see <laughs> see if we can haul ass up here and
So I could probably use that shot. I could probably go ahead and pound on the Jenner again and wait. But I don't think I'm going to. I think we're going to go ahead and take this ammo crate shot right now. And I should take out three mechs with this. <laughs> well, ah, oh, shit. I didn't take them out. We softened them up quite a bit, though. Yeah, it was still worth it, for sure. All right. So if Jenner's having heat problems, it's not going to be a threat. Locust is over here all by itself right now. It could actually be a threat, but... Uh, Alright. So Panther... Like the Panther is most likely... I really want the panther to die, so I, I think we're not going to split fire up here. I'd really want to put the panther to bed, so... Them top of their fighting units down. Keep this up and the facility is ours. And I really would like to get... I really want to get the crab down here into cover. I think we're going to go ahead and... Uh, it's still got heat problems. I think we're going to go ahead and try to take out the Jenner. Won't be taking out the Jenner. Pro probably won't take out the Jenner, but hopefully... quite a bit. That's, uh... Yeah, we ought to be able to take it. 
And I'd like to kill it. It's just a matter of if we can, yeah, if we can take this out with a melee attack, that's going to be. Position confirmed. Save us a little bit of heat. Yeah, shit. want to get these guys down into cover. No, the Griffin is kind of scaring me a little bit because it's still fairly tough and it's got lots of firepower. But yeah, if I can, uh, I'm gonna shoot it with everything I can without overheating. Hmm. You know what? I think we'll save. Yeah, I think we'll save that one. I should be able I should be able to put the griff into bed here but shit scored a critical hit not quite We've still got all those turrets and stuff man I really I'm trying to run down here into cover and I'm hmm So I guess what I need to do here... I still can't get down into cover. I guess we'll go ahead and take Vigilance. And... Yeah, I want to get the Griffin off the board. Surely... Surely the crab can put this guy to bed. Ha! 
I just need to get the, uh... Armor breached. Yeah. Internal damage. Get the, uh... Get the crab out of harm's way and get these last mechs... Put to bed and we'll be alright. Alright. I wonder... Working on the dragon here. So the battle's almost over, I can finally move some of my mechs into cover so they don't get all beaten to hell. All right. 20, that's not good. 10. Eh. him over into some water so he can cool down a little bit. Guys won't go down. Hmm. All right. Yeah, we're definitely gonna take vigilance again for uh, for the crab. See if you can put the Jenner down. No way! Oh, 
oh well I guess we're gonna we're gonna take our lumps and do this one anyway because we're just about done damn it I guess I thought vigilance was gonna be good enough I guess I should have uh, I guess I should have I don't know moved him and taken vigilance but oh well damn it luckily so here's another yeah <laughs> but here's a here's a good thing about that if you're gonna lose one you can't lose the commander so yeah i'll be laid up for a while but uh but yeah if you're gonna lose one that's the one to lose i can't believe that though man damn it King Crab taken out by turrets because I can't because I couldn't get these last two little bastards down in time. Oh well. Oh, I got I guess I got three of them. We got we got this dragon over here too. Yeah, I better quit yep, talking. <laughs> better quit talking smack because uh, I can still lose half the lance here, I guess. Looks like everybody else is in pretty good shape though. Wait a minute. All right. Good to go. All right. So what do we want to do here? Location confirmed. Yeah, exactly. The commander's got plot armor. You can't, uh, Solid connection on that one. Ah, look at that. Oh man, I can't believe it. Those guys these guys will not go down. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, yeah, I guess that was that was kind of dumb on my part. I should have uh I should have ran the uh should have ran the crab back into cover I guess but I thought I thought vigilance would be enough to uh mm. yeah, I thought vigilance would be enough to keep the crab alive until the end of the match Man, ah, oh, finally got the. So we still got this. I'm here. Roger. Yeah. Ah! Still won't go down. What the hell? <sighs> yeah, now I'm gonna let my shadow hawk. Try to figure out where I can set up here just in case I can't make these 
can't get these little guys down this time either. All right. Let's do this. Shit, not good enough, man. What the hell? <sighs> Look at that. Jeez. All right. God. And all I got her. What will that do for me? <laughs> Look at it. Ah. Uh. Guys, all right. Aye, aye. you little bastard. Finally! Enemy down. Good job, Commander. Yeah, not really. With the supplies that you you've just secured for us our battle mechs will shatter the directorate's battle lines smithen will be liberated now and forever yeah not really and lord Carosis will be grateful not to put too fine a point on it but we do need his help And we shall have it. I'll arrange an audience with him directly. Enjoy your victory, Commander. You've earned it. Yeah? Nope. Mission not really. Successful. Ah. Wow, guys. That was terrible. <laughs> but I will say, like, like I said, that's the first time I have played a turn of Battletech in about eight months. And yeah, we should have done a little warming up first. Because uh, I don't know what I don't know what fixing our uh, crab. I think we will get the crab back. I don't know what that's going to cost to fix, but yeah, we got the crab back. Ugh. Oh shit. Yeah, my little AC10 plus plus. Yeah, that was that was ugly. That was real ugly. All right, let's see what do we want to pick here. Uh, let's see, we can finish a panther, finish a jenner, we'll go for the griffin. Yeah, 
don't see anything else too special down there. And take part of that fire starter. I might actually... <sighs> That's what I'm blaming it on, being rusty, man. <laughs> All right, let's see what we'll go to the mech bay and we'll see how much that's going to cost. Oh, I guess I ought to see how long, how long the commander is going to be laid up in uh, in the med bay too. Oh yeah, first I guess we got to do this. So, so Lord Croesus, what a pleasure it is to see your face again. Long did you serve House Serrano, and long were you a friend to me. Your loyalty and wisdom are remembered to this day. Spare me the pleasantries, lapdog. You're here because your mistress needs something. Isn't that right, Lady Serrano? Go on, speak for yourself. You don't need a Madeira to speak for you. My lord Croesus, my forces have just liberated your system from directorate control at great cost, I might add. At this time yesterday afternoon, I was waging war on your behalf. As your liege lady, I require your loyalty and the aid of your technologist, and I expect you to provide it. What you require means nothing to me. For the last three years, your uncle has squeezed House Corrosus for its labor. His directorate conscripted my house guard, looted my treasury, took my children, all because I kept loyal to House Arano. And where were you while your sworn allies were under attack? While your, peeper, while your people were being slaughtered? You were hiding on the damned frontier. I saw your little broadcast from Weldry. By your own admission, you left us to die. So say nothing. So use your head, Corrosus. If she had stayed and fought, she'd be dead right now. I didn't request your opinion, mercenary. Until I do, I'd advise you to keep your mouth shut. We understand the hardships that you have suffered, sir. But from this point forward, you will show me the respect that I am due. Your own son was released from captivity by my hand. I fought and bled to set him free. You saved my auto, yes, but he isn't the man I remember anymore. The prison administrators on Weldry did something to his mind. And my daughter, Lena. She supported you, you know. Even after you abandoned us to our fate, she refused to break faith with you. She sang your praises for all who would listen until the directorate made an example of her. Lena was barely 20 years old when she died in your name. My fealty to your cause died with her, and so if you want my help, you will compensate me for it. You have a job for my technologists. I have a job for your mercenaries. We'll trade service for service. Or you'll leave here with nothing. I'm sorry, Lord Corrosus. I didn't know. As a member of the founding council of the Oregon Coalition, you are entitled to my help, and you shall have it. My mercenaries will assist you with whatever you need, and I will oversee the task personally. You have my word. 
Go on then. To Anvelt. This planet's this planet's first moon. There's a ship, the New Grange, that needs to be dealt with. My people will send you the details. Now please go. Leave me to attend to my son. They had more than munitions down there, Commander. There's a warehouse full of busted up dragons. Yeah, they keep those. They're really a fan of dragons. I'm not going to tell you that the dragon is a good mech. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're not lying to me there, Yang. But it's big, and it can carry a lot of guns. If you bring them aboard, we'll get them working. Look in the shop for them. Yeah, well, I guess we'll take what we can get. The contract to destroy the new Grange for Lord Corrosis is ready for review in the command center. We should follow up when you think we're ready. That mech you wanted is back online. Yeah. Panther 9Rs are solid all-around mechs, if a bit on the slow side. They'll make up for it with jump jets, considerable armor, and a hefty punch with their trademark PPC. They've even been used in physical slugging matches to good effect. That mech is ready to fight, Commander. Jenner Ds run hot, and they run fast, but can quickly bound into combat to deliver a knockout punch even against heavier units, their, capabil their capability with speed and weaponry tends to come at the expense of lower armor capacity, though. King Crab has been destroyed. Ah, shit. That sucks. Well, first thing we're going to do then is we're going to go back out and farm some assault mechs. Damn it. Oh, that sucks, man. So we're going to need to do some mech repairs before our next contract, boss. Can't go into combat like this. See me in the mech bay when you're ready. Yep. Uh, 95 days. Holy crap, man. Yeah, well. Mm. Yep, that could have gone better. It could have gone a lot worse, too, so... Ah. Yep. Breaks my heart, man. That panther is in the spot where the uh, king crab used to be. <laughs> uh, yeah, we already... Uh, this is... Uh, That's okay. That uh, that king crab was really just a lucky shot early on, but uh, yeah, it looks like it looks like we're coming up on a wow. I can't believe it. I guess uh, time flies when you're humiliating yourself because you don't know how to play your game anymore. <laughs> and yeah, it looks like it's getting pretty close to quitting time on the stream today. But uh, yeah, Wednesday we're gonna go farming. We're gonna do some live. Uh, assault mech farming is there there are a few mission types and, and I've already made a video I think the last video I the last Battletech video I made before this one was all about farming assault mechs and yeah we're gonna have to go out and uh and uh Put those uh, techniques into practice, cause yeah, we gotta get uh, we gotta get some tonnage. I don't think it I don't think it'll take too long for us to replace that uh, king crab either. As a matter of fact, since yeah, we don't really have time to do another drop here. Let's go ahead and uh, look at contracts. Yeah, we got a bunch of Verano 
contracts here. So yeah, served cold, I guess, is the next. Yeah, that's the next campaign mission we got. But yeah, we're going to go. Let's take a look at the star map. <laughs> Man, I like I like uh Yang and his movies, but uh yeah, we're going to go We're not we're not going to take that uh that next campaign mission yet. We're going to jump around and see if we can find some uh some opportunities to uh, gonna look for some opportunities to uh, find some more assault mechs. Yeah, it looks like we got got a lot of places within jumping distance. I think we'll go back over to uh Yeah, before we do any traveling, I want to go ahead and make sure... Oh, I was going to say, I want to go ahead and make sure we had uh, all of our repair work orders in, I think. Yeah, let's double check those. We'll make sure... All right. Yeah, we got everything I care about. Yeah, everything I care about right now is being repaired, so I think we'll go ahead and, uh, yeah, other good thing about the, uh, story campaign is you don't really have any time limits here either, so even if you do, even if you have a really bad drop like we just did, You can burn a little travel time and uh, get everybody back up into uh, fighting shape again. Which I'm not really, I'm not really concerned about uh, the commander being out. I've got plenty of other decent mech warriors to uh, fill in the gap until. Uh, Till he gets healthy. All right, let's see what this is. So, so you hear an argument in the mess hall. Okay, we've done this before, except it was uh, Behemoth and Wendigo. So they're they're fighting. They're both on garbage detail, and we're going to address both of their shortcomings. All right. Got a new financial report for you, Commander. Looks like we're doing good as far as money goes.
waypoint reached, Commander. Yep. All right. Let's see if we can find some uh, lucrative contracts around here, like uh, see last mech standing. We what we're looking for is. Pretty much anything, any kind of an assassination contract or uh. attack and defend. Yeah. <laughs> yep, exactly right, Tino. We are looking for milk runs. Actually, what I'm looking for is I'm trying to, I don't remember the exact the exact name of the uh, mission scenario. I think it's called picking up the pieces. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for some uh cuz picking up the pieces is where you're you're actually going to drop in and fight in like a three-way battle royale with two other uh mercenary forces and you're pretty much guaranteed that the uh the uh other merc forces at least one of them is going to drop with an assault mech and it'll be fairly easy pickings so yeah we're going to look that's that's what we're looking for is is that we're looking for yeah it's it's because and those missions are basically designed to to let you salvage uh assault mechs or sure or it really seems like that's what they're there for but uh yeah i think it's called picking up the pieces but we can't get, can't do that we're gonna look for well, we're going to look for anything we, we can find that's going to make money, but yeah, we're mostly looking for, like, assassination missions, unfortunately. I'm not seeing any there, though. We got some, we got some pretty good tonnage missions, though. We'll probably do... An attack and defend is kind of interesting. We might try one of those. That's a... It's kind of an interesting scenario, but yeah, anyway. I know escorts, we might do this escort mission too. I know a lot of guys, I know a lot of people do not like escort missions, but as long as you've got some fast, some fairly fast mobile mechs, they're pretty good. Let's see, a directorate leader has fallen behind on payments for their armored vehicles and... Man, yeah, that's not what I thought it was. Yeah, those attack and defend uh, scenarios are... They, uh... They are pretty challenging depending upon how your lances are set up. We may, we may try one of those just for the hell of it in the next stream, but, uh... Yeah, anyway, looks like, looks like it's right about, uh... Knockoff time, and yeah, this stream's been pretty brutal, <laughs> so... I think we're going to go ahead and save, and I think we're going to call it a stream until Wednesday, and uh, hopefully, well, I would definitely be back Wednesday playing more Battletech unless uh, something happens, and hopefully we'll make a little better showing. I might have to do a little practicing between now and then, but until then, uh, for everybody who uh, showed up to support the stream... Thank you so much. You'll never know how much I appreciate it. And uh, I will see you on Wednesday. But until then...